So if, if this goes on for a long time, it's going to be very challenging. My rent is more than most people's mortgage, and I have a mortgage, so it's like I have two mortgages. So I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm a pretty positive person for the most part, and I just was talking to my family and my clients about just trying to be better every day. And I made a shirt just for fun, and it sprung from there. Every day better just encompasses everything in life, not just fitness is where it started, but every day better in your relationships, every day better in your mental health, every day better in your spiritual health, in your finances, in your fitness. It's been an incredible journey for me. When we first shut down in March, obviously, all my business was done. All my clients were afraid. It kind of hit me that I may not be working for a while and I can't do what I love. And that was really, really difficult for me. I know I can find some other work, but I don't feel like I should have to. This is my life's work. I've done it for almost 30 years. I hope to do it till the end of my time. I got Pua and then I said I was gonna work a couple hours during the week and I honestly wrote what I made and they said I'm not eligible anymore. And then I said I made another, I had another client and then they said I'm not eligible, I owe money. So I've applied for probably six things and I got nothing. So my honest opinion is I just want to work. I don't want a handout from the government, I just want an opportunity to make a living. So this tourist system, I saw it the other day and it looks great, colored chart, but if you really, really look at it, it's, it's confusing. So it seemed like most of the businesses can open up except gyms and bars. If you look at the metrics, and I've talked to a couple of different people, it's almost impossible for us to get to level to tier four. So let's say we meet all the criteria for two weeks, we should go to tier two. No, you have to read the fine print, it's a month. So that's a long time to be without revenue for a gym. You know, you can pivot, but where do you pivot to? It's frustrating for me when I'm going to like Starbucks and get a coffee and I look at Costco, there's 400 people there, but I can't be with 20 people at a gym. There's a ways of making protocols in place with rules that we can do exercise and still be safe. People were stuck at home and nobody was moving at all. So I was encouraging people to first move, get outside. It's a good, good, positive distraction. And I encourage everybody to stay on a schedule and a regimen. All our schedules are thrown out of the whack. Um, fitness industry sales for equipment and alcohol is up because people are stuck at home. They're dealing with their pain and their frustrations. I don't think there's systems in place to deal with the, the crime and the mental health issues we have. Um, people don't want to talk about it, but suicide is up. And working out is, a, is an outlet. A lot of my friends said, gym is their, is their church. Do you not agree that exercise is an important part of life? <laughs>